Module 4 Relationship Management and Rapport Building In the previous module, we have identified effective ways to have smooth interactions with clients. In this module, we will gather important aspects of building relationship with our clients. A simple equation says that company success depends on happy clients and good conversations which not only make clients happy but also encourages loyal relationships. One of the strategies for creating enduring ties with clients is communication. Clients return with satisfying answers to their problems, which are products or service resolved, as a result of a conversation that gives them impression of being heard. It is undeniably true that customers are the sole reasons why business exists and their interactions are the cornerstones of every business survival. Let's see this case. Robin decided to have dinner at a restaurant one evening. He brought his parents, siblings and a few friends to celebrate his startup's success. They all were looking forward to having a good time that night. As soon as they walked in, Robin accidentally collapsed with one of the staffers who was carrying expensive drinks for some other customers. All drinks fell on the ground, along with expensive glasses in which drinks were being carried. In an ideal world, a customer-centric employee would instantly say, Hope you're not hurt. Don't worry, I will handle this. You please go ahead and enjoy your dinner. Robin, as a happy customer, would have felt lot of appreciation for the staff's efforts. He would have not only paid for the dinner, but for the loss too. Who knows, maybe while returning home, he would have even written good remarks on social media for the restaurant. But instead, what actually happened completely changed Robin's experience. The staff yelled at Robin and angrily asked him to pay for the loss. Hearing this, Robin's appetite vanished. Though he paid for all the loss unwillingly but left the restaurant immediately with his friends and family, with no intention to return ever after that. Listen to clients' requirements carefully. One of the most crucial abilities you may have is the ability to listen. Your ability to listen dramatically impacts how productive you are at work or how well do you get along with others. Customers always look for the ideal match to solve their problems. If we listen to them correctly, they can feel important, which would increase our company's reputation. Number 2 saying no to overcommitment. Examining your availability and priorities are the most important things to do when leading to a systematic and long-lasting approach. List all of your obligations and your required activities as you get down with your calendar. You may prioritize your work and that will in turn prevent you from making last-minute commitments. Although this may not be flattering at first, when you say no and you mean it, your clients will trust you. Number 3. Helping clients with best solutions or alternatives. Building relationship with clients is the objective of customer service. This encourages clients to have faith in getting solutions if they have problems. Trained service representatives prioritize clients' happiness so they are inclined to consider other options also before refusing in the first place. Simply saying no might annoy customers and convey that you are not putting effort. Therefore, having a plan B will help you step up your game in contrast to your rivals.